Hello, this is Mr. Martin. Uh, in this video, we're going to uh, continue working with our area formulas. Um, so let's get right into it and let's go ahead and take a look at number 13. So let's read the question. A uh, triangle with an area of 45.5 centimeters squared has a base that measures 14 centimeters. So what I like to do first is I'm going to pull out this important information. So area and then base. Okay, so I know that A equals 45.5 centimeters squared and then the base is 14 centimeters and then we want to find the height. So the height equals, we'll let that be x. It doesn't have to be x, but you let it be anything you want. You could leave it as h2 if you like, and we'll probably do that. All right, so the formula for a triangle, the area is one half base times height. So let's plug in what we know. We know the area is 45.5. So we'll substitute that in for a, and we have one half, and we were given that the base is 14. So let's substitute in the base. And we don't know the height. We want to find that. All right. Now all we need to do is solve for h. So I have 45.5. 1 half times 14 is 7. So 7h. And we'll divide both sides by 7. And we get that h is 6.5. Let's not forget our units. Now this is just the height. So the height, this is just the distance. So it's just going to be centimeters. Notice the area is centimeters squared. We're finding out how many squares are in that triangle. But for the height, it's just the length of that height. So it's 6.5 centimeters. And that's it. So we're kind of working backwards for these problems. All right, let's take a I'll look at one more. We'll keep this video short. Number 15. Let's go ahead and read the question. It says a trapezoid with base measures of 23 kilometers and 29 kilometers has an area of 390 kilometers. So here's our important information. We have bases that are 23 and 29, and then we have an area of 390 kilometers squared, and we want to find the height. So again, let's uh, write down our important information. So we'll let B1 be the 23 kilometers. And we'll let B2 be the 29 kilometers. And we know that the area is 390 kilometers squared. And we know the formula for a trapezoid. If you need to scroll back up to your notes, feel free to do that. Otherwise, if you wrote it down, you can just refer back to it. It's 1 half times h times b1 plus b2. All right, and I'm gonna, we have four variables in here, and we're going to substitute in the three that we know. So I know that a is 390, 1 half, and we don't know h, so I'm going to put the h back in there. And then b1, we let be 23. And B2, we let B29. Again, it doesn't matter which one's B1 and which one's B2. So I've got 390 equals. So then if I add these two up here, if I add these two up, that's going to be 52. So then half of 52 is going to be... 26, so that's going to be 26 times h. I'll divide both sides by 26, and I end up with h equals 15 kilometers. So again, we're just kind of working backwards, but again, write down your formula, substitute in the values that they give you, and then solve for the missing one. All right. If you have questions, make sure you get those answered. Go ahead and uh, finish up the rest of these problems as part of your assignment and uh, get that turned in. And we will see you in the next video.